Hello everyone, uh, this is Echo Simpson. Thank you for checking me out. You can see I'm feeling comfortable in this sofa, courtesy <laughs> Moy. Yes, I know you've seen the video. I think two videos that I've done here uh, when we celebrated her birthday and then the first day we came around when this place wasn't uh, completed. Would you say this house is completed? Where I'm living now is completed, but we ha I have four apartments upstairs. Okay. That is um, ongoing, you know, construction. Okay. I've had a lot of people watching your videos and asking this question. How, what came into your mind? What made what you... What motivate me yes, to, to come? to come to Ghana? Um, I have a friend. Uh, he has a store in the market. Mm -hmm. So every time, you know, I go there, we'll chat. In Ghana? No, in, in America. In America, yeah. That's, and um, so he said, Moy, my wife and I and a friend going to Ghana. Come with me now. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. And I bought my ticket the same. Just like days, that. Just like that. So I came here, the, I left America the 5th of November. I got here the 6th of November last year. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Super, super buddy of mine is, you know, <laughs> Howard. Mm -hmm. His name is Howard Young. Mm -hmm. He, he said to me, I have a cousin down there. Give me his number, says, give me a call when you get there. That happens to be Len. Len. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So I called Len while I came on vacation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came down to visit Len. Here. Here. The same day I came to visit Len, I looked around. I was in Accra before. I liked it. Mm -hmm. I was excited. Mm -hmm. And um, then when I went to the castle, mm -hmm. and it brought tears to my eyes, I mm. wanted to come home. And I said, this is where I want to be. Yeah. So I came. The very day I purchased, the, the, the next day I purchased the land. Wow. Then I went back to America. And I came back the, sometime in March, the mm -hmm. 17th of March. Mm -hmm. And I just start building in the end of April, May. When and just start building. Just, just start build. building. Just start and, building. And Never you've stop. not gone back to... Never stop. I went back. Mm -hmm. I went back to, you know, close, you know, close some deals and <laughs> take care of some stuff. Yeah. And, you know? Right? And ship my things. I decided that I, you know, there are things that I have mm -hmm. sentimental, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. sentiments too. So I decided um, that was it. So I came back the 29th of July. I'll never forget that day <laughs> that I came back. And I, that, this is it. I just wow. continue and worked, worked, never stop. Well, what was it, what was it like for you? And your immediate family, when you told them that, hey, um, I'm going, I'm not coming back. I'm, this is where I'm going to stay. How was it like with, with you well, and then your family? How did they take it? You know, everybody has a different opinion about it. Mm -hmm. You know, some people say, you're crazy. Ooh. Some says, yeah, I can't believe doing something like that. Some would... A lot of not, you know, wouldn't agree. You know, it's kind of mm -hmm. shocking that yeah. I would just pick up myself and just go somewhere where I don't know any, no friends, mm -hmm. no family, or, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm a people person. Yeah. I've never met a stranger. That's me. Everywhere I go, I make friends. Yeah. So it wasn't hard for me mm -hmm. because that's my personality. Okay. So... They didn't agree with it. My kids, um, you know, didn't agree with it. One of my sons says, you know, mm -hmm. I guess I wasn't a good mother to get up and leave her <laughs> children. <laughs> but I looked at, this is the way I looked at it, that they're grown. Yeah. And um, there is a movie called um, If You Build It. If they You will, Build It. If You Build It, they will come. They will, yeah. So I figure if I build it, They'll they come. come. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, beautiful kids of uh, Auntie Moy, if you're watching this, she has built it. So come, you know, let's, 
do away with that mentality and you know come yes. to Africa. I know there are a lot of you know negative things that people say, but before you moved in, you may have had some perceptions about Africa and the people and the Ghanaian people. What well, was it? Well, I didn't have much on Ghana, Africa. You know, maybe um, you know South Africa. They always show you know they do it to Jamaica too. Mm -hmm. They always show in the more poverty where people are you know distressed. Yeah. Okay, but in every country, you have different class, different stages. Mm -hmm. You have people who you've got it. You have the have and the whatnot. That's Jamaican. But yeah. You say they have and they have not. So there's good and bad, you know, everywhere in the world. So I didn't really have much, to be honest with you, okay. about Ghana. He <laughs> didn't know much. I did not <laughs> look. I did not do no research. No research. No work on it. Nothing. I just picked up myself, but when I came, I just fell in love and said, this is home. That was maybe it. the ancestors were speaking to you. Yes, maybe. Or the crazy in me. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you're comfortably living in Ghana right now. Yes. Um, people who want to move are always having this concern that, what can I do to make income when I'm in Ghana? What are you doing so far that you think would at least motivate someone to also come and say, okay, maybe I want to try this. That will, you know, make my stay in Ghana that, okay. Yes, well, everybody's pocket is different. So it all depends on, you know, how your financial status is. Yeah. So people are building, people are coming, people are building. Mm -hmm. So we need, you know, um, hardwares. Yeah. Right? We can do well with that. Mm-hmm. And um, I opened a meat shop. You opened a meat shop? Yes, I have a meat shop in Whoa. the town. Right? It's called <laughs> MVH. MVH. Meat Mart. <laughs> okay. Only to learn that they don't call it Meat Mart here. Yeah, no. They call, we call it, it cold, uh, cold, store. cold Store. Yeah, Cold Store. Right. But they'll get used to it. And yeah. I'll get used to it. <laughs> and we're getting you. And we're getting used yeah, to it. Yeah, to each right? other. Yeah, right. Yeah. So. And um, so you so you have a cold store. I have a yes, I that, have a cold mm -hmm. store which is a meat mart, mm -hmm. and also have um, I do Uber. I have Uber. a taxi on the road. Okay. Or whatever, okay. Taxi yeah. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. So there are a lot of things that people can come and mm -hmm. do. They can do farming. Mm -hmm. We need to do farming because the land is very very good. Yeah. It's very good soil. Mm -hmm. Right. So farming is one of them. Mm -hmm. And they can do, you know, like vegetables. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But they can even wear animals. And it, like oh goats, yes. sheep. Lots, oh, yes. Yeah. Lots of goats. I wish they could bring, like, some goats from Jamaica. <laughs> Why? Because they're bigger. They are bigger are than, than the ones you see here. <laughs> they're dwarfs. Oh, okay. Okay. So you have, like, huge ones here. You have bigger goats. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Or even bring it since, I don't know if we're closer to um, Pakistan. Because the goats in Pakistan are good size, nice oh, goats. Okay. But these goats are really small. So yeah, they are we dwarfs. We need to get a couple <laughs> goats down here, right? And, you know, work on them and see. Yeah. Yes, that would be yeah. nice. How, how long did it take for you to put this place together you mean the building or furniture i mean the the, the the building i mean the 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 part that you're living that you say it's completed how long did it take for you to put everything together a week <laughs> a week yeah from the ground up oh no 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 I not not the, the inside no you know to move in and get settled no i mean oh, from I the beginning where they meant. started and then you were saying something that i want you to it's tell people that six to, it's between six and seven months six months. to seven months yeah yeah okay so in may june july august september october november i moved in here in november the reason for that rush because I wanted to celebrate my birthday. Your birthday in your own house. In my own home. Happy birthday. Yes, I wanted to do that. That meant a lot to me. Um, you know, if I want something, I do whatever it takes to get it. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. I'm a go-getter. Yeah. I'm a fighter. Yeah. I'm going to get it. And a crazy one. And a crazy one. <laughs> something comes to mind, right? Yeah. I just jump at it. Mm -hmm. I mean... It works most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just jump at it. That's, yeah. that's me. Oh, you were saying something. Yeah, what has been the 
experience so far now living in Asebu Pan African village. Oh wow. And I would say Oh wow. You are you are one of the maybe let me say the five women who have successfully moved to stay in here. Because I learned there's another one down there. Yes. I don't know who that yes. person is. But you are yes. one of them that has, the, moved has moved in. Two, she was coming in when we were coming in the birthday party and she has two grand grandsons. Oh okay, that's, that's her. her. Oh that's okay, her. okay, okay, her. okay. The one I believe just... it. My party was the first time I've met her. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So how has been the experience so far living sleeping and waking up on the land, on the on the motherland, the African land. Well, yeah, Sebu Pan African village. Well I wanna tell you something. I used to have problems sleeping. I sleep like a baby. Now you sleep like a baby. <laughs> I go to bed and I sleep. It's wonderful. It's peaceful, you know, quiet. Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah. And, um, hmm. you know, every time that I would get up and I would come out and I would say, God is amazing. Yeah. Because until now, I myself can't believe it. Yeah, that you the made it. The dream, that the dream, that dream. You know, mm -hmm. it has come through. Yeah. So I, I made plans because initially I said I'm going to build a house and then build four apartments upstairs. I have yeah. one two bedroom and three one bedroom apartments. Okay. So that would bring an income. Mm -hmm. I love to travel. So I want, it's a, I'm doing Airbnb. Airbnb. So I'm going to be furnishing it and everything. Mm -hmm. So I do Airbnb. So people are coming in. So they need a place to stay on vacation or to build or whatever you know so I want to provide that so I will have an income coming from you know yeah. all directions so I won't go hungry <laughs> hey beautiful people so if you're watching this conversation and then you're thinking of moving to Ghana or you know traveling taking a trip to Ghana you need a place to stay very soon uh, it's not ready yet but very soon uh, you would have an Airbnb just on top of uh, Moy's bedroom so that he can be making noise while she's trying to sleep, right? <laughs> 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 all right, so um, I would love for you to take me around the house. But first of all, tell me what are the feet, what, are, what is in this house? How many rooms you have here, down here? Uh, I know you have visitors' room, you have a bar. Just tell people what this whole place entails. So it somebody has coming one in. Guest room. Mm -hmm. It's one guest room to my right. Mm -hmm. My entertainment room. I love and that side. I love that. That's my best room because you see, <laughs> you see, I don't have to go far to get drunk if I want to, right? Yeah. It's very close. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, yeah. I don't drink every day. I only drink when I have company or so. Yeah. You know? I'm not, you know, an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I yes. understand. Yeah. So, this is the laundry room with that glass okay. door, mm -hmm. and it also has um, a guest bathroom. Okay, that's my bedroom. My kitchen, um, it's an L shape, L shape kitchen. Oh, you go that, yes, it goes back that way. Okay, do you know what? I know you would want to say exactly what she's talking about, so let's take a walk while she shows us your. Heart. <laughs>